Disney boss Bob Iger is under pressure to deliver a spectacular encore. Iger beat back two activists, including pushy billionaire Nelson Peltz, who were trying to get their candidates on the board. On Wednesday, Disney shareholders re-elected all of the company's 12 nominees as directors by a substantial margin. Iger conjured up backing from J.P. Morgan boss Jamie Dimon, Star Wars creator George Lucas, and even predecessor Michael Eisner. Spilled secrets about the vote, including BlackRock's backing, added to the drama. A run-up in the stock, which increased about 50% since October when Peltz made his pounce, certainly helped. Now Iger has to pull out a showstopper. The $270 billion entertainment enterprise trades at 13 times 2025 expected EBITDA. With Disney relying on Hulu, ESPN, and Disney+, Plus, the best benchmark is Netflix, which fetches a multiple of 23 times. Closing that gap means that Iger will have to do better at getting streaming to profitability. That division is projected to have an EBITDA margin of 5% next year. To put that in perspective, when Netflix generated the same revenue in 2020 as Disney's streaming services, its margin was 20%. Peltz and other investors will be closely watching for any signs of slip-up during Iger's performance.